Hey church, welcome to Wednesday Wisdom. So glad that you uh, watched this. I hope this serves as a good pick me up in the middle of the week or a challenging thought. Um, I'm reading a, a book um, that I would highly recommend. It's called The Attitude of Faith by Frank Damasio. Um, he says something here that I'm sure will fire you up. Um, I really felt impressed to kind of expound on a little bit. He says, never allow your past to govern your future. Read the Bible. It's full of people whose past were bad, but who still you who were used greatly by God. And he goes on to list a lot of characters in the Bible who had a messed up past, um, who were old in age <laughs> and maybe felt like a uh, opportunity to be used and to make a difference had um, passed them. I want to echo the words of Pastor Frank in saying, uh, don't let your past or time or the lack thereof uh, rob you of what God wants to do in your life now. God has a purpose for your life. Purpose is not attached to age. Purpose is attached to obedience. Purpose is attached to pursuit, per, to your pursuit of Jesus. So I want to encourage you uh, this week. Um, God has something for you. God has purpose for you. You're special. You have a call on your life. You're special because of what Jesus did in you. He gave his life for you. Live for him. So I pray that this motivates you, inspires you to run after him. And don't look to the past and say, man, I'm never going to become. I'm not where I am. I'm not where I should be. But rather say, God, thank you for today. And today I choose you. Today I'm running after you. Today I'm making choices for you. And I promise that your viewpoint and your perspective of life will shift. God bless you. Hope you have a great week.